Okay, so, um, uh, this is played, um, she plays it on a baritone guitar, which is like a longer, it's between a guitar and a bass, basically. And so the tuning, I think she's actually an open A with a capo at the first fret. This is not a baritone guitar, this is a regular guitar. And so I just tuned it down to open B flat, which is crazy low. It's pretty, that's pretty floppy. So, um, uh, so one thing I'd say right off the bat is you can go into this open B flat tuning. You can also play it in any open tuning. Um, I might at the end of this take out my other guitar, which is in an open D flat, and that kind of makes more sense. But anyway, for our purposes right now, I'm in open B flat, which is B flat, so a very low B flat. So your low E string is going all the way down, you know, uh, that many steps to B flat, F, so the A becomes an F, the D becomes a B flat, G becomes a D, so it's like your G is like what your D normally is. Um, your B becomes an F, and your high E becomes also an E flat, a B flat, B flat. You end up with this open B flat tuning. So there's a ton of songs on this album that use this type of tuning. So there's these similar chord shapes, um, like these for majors. Um, on the record, the beginning is four bars of this chord, which is first finger on the third fret of the third string, second finger on the fifth fret of the sixth string, and third finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string. So that happens for four bars on the record. Um, the way that she seems to play it, uh, on the live stream and the, the live version that I saw um, is just like another time of the verse progression. So let's talk about the verse progressions. So the verse progression is this chord, which is first finger on the third fret of third string and third finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string. This is basically the, the one chord. This is the B flat. And then, so again, this is another like difference between the record. You can go straight from this, so you can just do two bars of this, and then go to this, which is that same chord we just did. This is the four chord. Um, uh, another little trick about it is this hammering on the second finger. So, If, you, if that's hard, you can skip it. It's cool though. Um, so another little difference between the live version and stuff is that she tends to go put this chord in between, which is like a, it's the three chord. It's a D minor. Um, second finger, so first finger is still on the third fret of the third string, but now your second finger is on the fourth fret of the sixth string, and your third finger is on the fourth fret of the fifth string. To give you even more options, you could also play this chord, which is like if you just take that first chord and just add the fourth fret on the sixth string. So again, so I guess what I would say is the verse is this. This chord, third fret on the third string and the fifth fret on the fifth string. For one bar, you can hammer that on to the fourth fret on the low string. And then you could again hammer on to the fifth fret on the low string. And this one gets two, two, two bars. Um, that strumming, it's this kind of 16th note. And there's kind of an accent pattern that's kind of like... Do that even slower. Then 
Another little thing is that the fourth finger can come up and get the fifth on this third chord. The fourth finger can come up and get the fifth fret on the third string. You can kind of, you can kind of play around with that. You could go three. always an option on this chord. Um, okay, and then eventually it, um, again, it doesn't seem like this is something she always does, but it is on the record, and it's like, goes to this chord, which is basically the sixth chord, a second finger on the second fret of the fifth. So that's after four times of this progression, this, back to that three chord, the fourth fret, the third, back to this one. That just happens once. Starts doing this. So this is just going in between that one chord again, up to the five chord, same shape as the four chord. So second finger on the seventh fret now of the fifth of the sixth string, third finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string, pinky on the seventh fret of the third string. To the five, to the four. Um Again, like more little variations. Sometimes it's five to six, turn to four. So this is across the seventh fret, and then up to this is like this is the same chord as this. It's a different voicing. First finger on the eighth fret of the third string, second finger on the ninth fret of the sixth string, third finger on the ninth fret of the fifth string. And that sort of is like a quick change, like it's like So that whole sort of like pre-chorus is like it's basically that three times. This time I'll do it with that variation. I really do that strumming right now. You get the idea. Okay, the chorus. Sorry, I'm skipping ahead. Okay, so it's simple enough going from the four to the one to the five and back to the four. One little thing is on the five, so replacing the second finger on the seventh fret of the sixth string with the first finger on the sixth fret of the sixth string. Makes sense. I hope that referring to things by numbers makes sense. Um, to go over what all those are again, I'm calling this the one chord, not the three chord, not the four chord, not the five chord. That's the six chord, and this is another way of playing the six chord. That's basically all the chords in the song. So hopefully you can make it out from there. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>